Hello, Geek and Gamers. Matt Lexi here with True Gamer Goggles. And today we're at Origins 2014. Origins, oh my god. <laughs> two days ago, I was a year ahead. Now I'm two months behind. We're at Gen Con 2014. And it is day three. <laughs> and it seems like day 12. And that's why you think you're at Origins. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Too many nights of two hours of sleep. And, uh, well, I'm here with Kevin, and I'm going to butcher his name. Sambieta. Is he okay? Close enough. Really? Sambita. Sambita. It's one of those funky Polish names. I so would not have guessed Polish, that. Yeah, most people think it's Italian or Spanish. That's like awesome. I'm going to And uh, it's actually Sambieta in Poland. But that confuses people even more because there's no S. H. I, I will understand that. So, Sambita. Oh, are you? Turn up. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's two Polacks I met at this <laughs> show. Um, that's awesome! <laughs> anyway, we're not going to talk about Poland because I could go on for a while. My grandfather thought he was a prince. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, no lands. The Russians took it. Yeah, of course. Um, but anyway, we're going to chat about the things. Um, I guess the, we'll start with Robotech and the success of the Kickstarter uh, because I'm sure you're all happy it's in the country. It is, finally. But it's not here. <laughs> so, damn customs. Um, yeah, yeah, it probably like, came in with engine blocks. Um, <laughs> maybe. Um, yeah, unfortunately, the product was um, pulled for inspection by customs. So, we had hoped to have several hundred copies here. But, you know, expansion packs, and that didn't happen. That was disappointing, but uh, it is in the country. Um, we should get it sometime next week. And as soon as we hit our warehouse, we are shipping the baby out to our Kickstarter backers and other people who pre order and Amazon our distributors. So we should hit stores, we figure sometime in October, probably mid October. But Kickstarter guys will start getting it. I need luck in the next week or beginning of the following week. And well, with that kind of success, when do you expect to like start an organized play program, or do you not? No, we want definitely. <clears throat> excuse me. We definitely want to do a uh, organized play. Um, we're kind of rounding up volunteers right now, so uh, yeah, we're gonna have all kinds of stuff. We're, we're thinking about demo kits and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, definitely all kinds of stuff coming. Now, okay. You uh, kind of worked with Ninja Division yep. to bring it about. Are they going to kind of handle the organized play, or is it going to stay kind of all in-house with Palladium? Is that going to be a joint effort? Well, um, I think they have a lot of other things on their plate, so I suspect that they'll be giving us some advice and some tips and helping us get started, and then after that we'll be carrying the ball. But we're talking to a number of other people about doing organized play and how best to do it, including our distributors, and doing demo packages and stuff that we can send out to stores. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely okay. going to do something fun. Okay. Now, with all the excitement on Robotech, I suppose that means good things for the role-playing game. I sure hope so. Um, but yeah, we, we got the uh, Robotech Marines source book will be out later this year. Uh, and we have a number of other projects I don't want to mention now until they're closer to being uh, an actual release date, but we got a number of things that we have for Robotech. Absolutely. Okay. A lot of uh, hype with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Are you guys going to push forward with that? Or are you not allowed to talk about it yet? Uh, I think I got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, golly gosh. I think a Ninja Turtle property released again and, and role playing and other things would be great. So I, I think that's coming, children. <laughs> that would be awesome. I actually miss it. Uh, do, you yeah, think, I do, too. do you think maybe you can revitalize the How to Draw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book? It's, uh, uh, it's been out of print for years, but maybe you can find the artist that did it and get him to do a new one. Right, maybe. That'd be wicked. That would be wicked. Um, <laughs> so I've been out of touch with, actually, the Palladium game. What? Well, I we found Palladium in... 1986. I yeah, think we've been around a while. When we started, right here. That's. I think it's when we started playing, and we quickly left Palladium and jumped into Rips. So, but over the years, I haven't seen much change. Um, yeah, yeah, you haven't done a lot of extra books for it. It seems like your focus is Rips. Yeah, yeah um, our focus for a long time had had been Rips. It was the hottest property, as you are probably aware. We ran into some financial difficulty. 
a few years back with embezzlement and theft by an employee. Um, oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty rough, 2006. It took us a while to get back, so we really had to focus on the things that were the biggest revenue generators. And sadly, Palladium Fantasy just wasn't one of them. Um, but it's my personal favorite game. So it's funny you bring it up because um, we've got like four source books in the works. And uh, here's, here's, here's an exclusive for you. I want to do a Palladium Ultimate Edition that would have color and be expanded. Oh, big, wicked. So wicked. Yeah, hardcover. Um, so, uh, yeah. well, I guess with that being said, there's a lot of people in the gaming world that would love to see a second edition of your games. Right. With slight revamping. Right. Things. That's, that, what, that's, that's all what I'm happening? talking about. For, for Palladium Fantasy, you want to do, you know, a new revised... So, are you... Are you so are you going to keep a D20, I would guess. Yep, absolutely. Are you looking at maybe working with the skill system and the uh, character development? Yeah, we'd be tweaking all kinds of little things, aspects of it, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, that, yeah. And that means Rift's Ultimate's probably not far beyond. Uh, well, right. Rift's Ultimate we did in, like, 2005. See, I missed that. Oh. And, I, well, uh, there was, I had a dry period for gaming. That's all right. It's okay. I had a dry period. And I, hey, there's a ton of games out there. You can't keep in touch with everything. Well, no, not not then I couldn't, but now it's a lot easier than I blog. So that's good. Well, I've got a lot of good context, and that, that helps. Sure. Um, but it's it's even even having the right context, it is ex extremely difficult and time consuming. Of course it is. It, it, extremely. So we do have a, a new Palladium Fantasy source book that's coming out later this year. That's Dying in the Kingdom of Byzantium. Um, that'll be a blast. You got you got uh, serpent chasers and all kinds of things and. Wolfen involvement and Wolfen are my favorite. Yeah, one of my favorites too. They're one of my favorite. That's the thing. Playing in fantasy, ironically, is my personal favorite game. I mean, I love writing riffs. I love the wolf, and I I love Heroes Unlimited and Robotech and all those. But I don't know. Playing in fantasy was just one of the very first things I did. It's, I know it inside now. I love it. It's my favorite. We, we played a good bit of it until we saw the riffs book, and then we went like. Heck with this, we've got science well, fiction and fantasy. Yeah, exactly. And that's really what we did. And we played religion. When I went to college, uh, we played religiously for five years every third or every Wednesday before Thanksgiving for 24 hours. Wow. Religiously. That's, that's and actually, we, that, that was probably from 95 to about 99 we did that because even after we graduated, we got together yeah. once a year. That's awesome. I want to I want to try and bring it back and start recording the sessions. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. It, it was very cool. It was a blast. It's a, it was a blast. And now my kids are old enough, I can probably get them introduced. Um, oh, that's nice. How old are your kids? Uh, 11 and 15. Oh, yeah. Two. Perfect age to get them in the role playing. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a, well, they, they played some D&D. And they liked it. I, I knew a lot more about D&D, and the system was still under my belt, because when I had the store, I had like 25 players. Well, do you remember D&D's 30th anniversary? Yeah. I had 45 players come in, and I was the only DM. Oh, man. That was not... That was fun. <laughs> it was fun. I'm not going to lie. It was taxing, but it was fun. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, back to uh, Palladium. Um... Once the Kickstarter's, well, let's go into like Dead Rain or. Sure. Where are we going with those? Um, I've got a uh, source book called uh, Graveyard Earth that's coming out later this year also. I just received a uh, another uh, um, manuscript for it that looks fantastic. Um, so that'll be coming out either later this year or beginning of next year. We got we got plans for everything. I want to do Beyond the Supernatural. I've got like, resource books for it. Um, we want to do more for Robotech. We want to do more for Planet of Fantasy. Um, Sorry, interview. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need like a whip. Yeah, there you go. I, this is the first time that anybody has ever done that at a show, and it's happened like seven times. Oh, really? Well, you know, at Gen Con, it's a happening place. You know, it's very busy. It's lots yeah, of people. Uh, nobody's really paying attention to a yep. camera. They're, yeah, they're exactly. looking at the cool art on the table. Yep. Which, by the way, you have how many artists here? <laughs> uh, I've got, like, uh, three artists. i got uh, three or four different writers. So, yeah, we got a lot of staff here to yep. sign autographs, chat with people. And if you're a freelancer, they're still accepting submissions oh, yeah, for absolutely. Rifters. And that's still monthly, right? Yep, uh, quarterly. Oh. Yeah. That's probably better that way. Oh, it's always been quarterly. I, well, maybe it's because I bought one a month, though, when I was oh. behind. 
<laughs> I think I've got through 50. I don't know. I, well, yeah, but I've got three kids to feed. <laughs> uh, I hear you. Yeah. So, um, hmm. What about? Oh wait. Now that you've done Robotech miniatures, are you looking at miniatures for the other games? Absolutely. The big game we would want to do would be Rifts. I mean, it's just you can do everything in it. it. You can have all kinds of factions and armies and. And a lot of the stuff that you do for Rift can actually go right into play. Oh, absolutely. A lot, yeah. yeah, a lot of it. Um, so, yeah, we very much want to do Rift. I wouldn't, the thing is, we're not going to rush it. We want to get the Robotech done. I'd like to see on. a battle made. And, you know, it's all, been, it's all been a learning experience for us. So I want to make sure we know what the hell we're doing and really get that down so there aren't big delays, there aren't, you know, all kinds of problems in manufacturing. And, you know, we've learned so much during the Robotech game. Um, which is a beautiful game. I'm happy to say everyone who's seen it, everyone who, who demo, plays oh, it's, demos, it's love sexy. It. It's definitely sexy. I, in fact, I, just before the interview, I had a couple guys come up and tell me, you've got a winner here. We never played Robotech, never did, knew anything about the role-playing game. Played in a game, I guess, last night, had a time in their lives. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. They both play cool. pre-orders. And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're very excited about that. And we can kick that off and do that beautifully and, and do all three eras of Robotech. Yeah, down the road, we definitely want to do riffs. We think oh, about right. playing See, fantasy. if you guys didn't know that, the other eras are coming. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you snuck that in there. <laughs> I'll keep them straight in there. But, uh, what else you want to add? I don't know. You don't know? We got all kinds of cool stuff. And you cool check us out. Check out the website, PlaniumBooks.com. Facebook. Oh, we're on Facebook too. Yep, absolutely. Twitter. Oh, we do just a little bit with Twitter. It's a few more. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, time. Time is our problem. Time. Look, he's right out of a rifter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely. He looks cool. Um, That's a great all right. mask. Well, we're Thank looking at a Jaguar mask. So, well, we'll get it here in a second. Thank you, Kevin. It's My been pleasure. a pleasure. I should do this more. Enjoy the rest of the show. I'm getting this guy. Bone wear Jaguar. Great mask. That's a great mask. I got pictures.